All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachah Hakodash, Lam Lam Yom. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach them real well and who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel. I want to give a, a strong Shalom to all the Akim and the four corners of the earth, persons who are in truth and sincerity, making the call unless you're sure. And I want to give a humble salutation to the whole full elect uh, scattered uh, throughout the four corners of the earth, as our uh, as the scriptures say we will, we will be. All right, this is Brother Mashal. I'll come back at you with a quick lesson. To the spirit of power of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, we say the water of Yahweh Hashem Hashem for the spirit to this lesson, and um, kind of want to go into the to the to the uh, duality of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, the good and the evil, you know, because the Most High does the, does the good things, also, you know, he does the, does the, the bad things, man, the evil things, huh? You know what I'm saying? But you know, let's start off with um, let's start off with Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1. It says, A false balance is abomination unto Yahweh Bashim Yashai, but a just weight is his delight. All right, so this is why you see, you know, uh, you see the, the, the good of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, but you also see the, the evil. All right, it's a balance, man. There's no, you know, we've been, uh, you know, uh, used to a false balance, man. You know, because we, you know, when we when we were in the world, we perce we perceived uh, evil as as righteousness, man. You know what I'm saying? We didn't we thought it was harmless to to uh, you know smoke some weed or to, to be out having a good time kicking it, or women be out all types of night in the middle, you know, in the middle of the night going to bars and shit and clubs. You know what I'm saying? We didn't think that was any harm. You know what I'm saying? But in actuality, that's against the scriptures, man. You know. We didn't think it was uh, wrong to be sleeping with, with from women to women, not making them our wives, and, and you know doing due diligence right uh, by them. You know what I'm saying? Because we we, we were we were uh, seduced by the wisdom of this world. You know what I'm saying? But now we understand that there is there is a, a, a balance to how Bashim Al All right. So the 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 things that we thought that were uh, good are actually wicked, man. All right. When you, when you, we go to uh, let's go to. Uh, Real quick, let's go to Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 3. All right, it says, uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 1, it says, To everything there is a season and a time to per every purpose under the heaven. Okay, so every everything has an, 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 has an appointed time. You know, that's why the scriptures say there, uh, you know, that those that, that laugh now shall mourn later. Okay? This is why the scriptures say that those that are that are uh, exalted shall be abased. All right, because there's a time and a season for everything, man. All right, and this is all the works and dealings of Yahweh Bashim Yasha. Okay, so we got to understand the works of Yahweh Bashim Yasha and what He does in order for us to to use that same philosophy in, in our lives today. All right, these are what the scriptures are for, to, to, to learn from it and apply it to our life. Okay, let's, you know what? Let's go to, um, let's go to Romans real quick. Romans 15 and verse four, it says, for whatsoever things were written for, written aforetime or written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right, so the things that were written in these scriptures, man, we use to apply it uh, today. The, all the, the, the epistles of uh, Paul were written to, uh, you know, these certain uh, churches. Um, it's like foreigner churches, right? But in actuality, those were used as uh, exhortation letters for the, for, for the elect of today, man. All right, even though they were, they were written, you know, 1500, I mean, you know, 1800 years ago. You know, 2,000 years ago, what happened? Those same philosophies and, and things like that are used to apply to today, man. Okay, for the elect of today. All right, and this is why some people can't get Paul's writings, man, because Paul Paul's writings are for the, uh, the elect, man. All right, this is why Paul said in, in Romans 7 that he, he writes to them that understand the law, man. Romans 7 and 1. That he writes to those that understand the law, that know the law, because a lot of guys that they that, that are out here, they don't understand the the uh, you know the the the, uh, the the 
the way that Paul wrote wrote his epistles. So what happens? They they just automatically just just throw them away, man. You know what I'm saying? That they say that you know Paul's going off. You know certain books that Paul wrote or the, the scribes for Paul are not uh, are not uh, you know um, part of the canon of the, of the Bible. You know, and Peter talked about this. People, people uh, Peter said, you know what? Let's get that real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, Second Peter chapter three and verse fifteen. Uh, it says, "An account that all us uh, lucky, an account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you." Uh, verse sixteen, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, okay? As they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction, see? So when, uh, so when you are unlearned and unstable, you rest with the, with the scriptures, with Paul's epistles. All right, I mean, you, you wrestle with them, man. You, you, uh, you're confused by them, all right? So this is why some of our people are, 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 uh, can't get the doctrine or, or slacking, not the doctrine, but the writings of Paul's epistles, man. Because they're unlabeled, man. You know what I'm saying? And they don't have that spirit. They don't have the, the, the proper uh, guidance. All right. Uh, so let's get let's get back to let's get to the lesson. Um, we're gonna go to uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 45 and verse seven. It says. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 5, Isaiah 45 and verse 5. It says, I am Yahweh Bashim Ashai, there is none else. There is no power beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. Okay, so it's, it's the power of Yahweh Bashim Ashai that, 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 uh, that girds us, that powers us, that leads us. You know what I'm saying? Into, into, uh, into, into everlasting life or into destruction, man. Because everybody has a lot, man. This thing ain't for everybody, man. Somebody has to be the two-thirds. All right? And it's not going to be a a, a a pretty sight when that when that happens. But what do we do? We we, we pray and we and we and we uh, try to do the, the scriptures say to put on as the elect. All right. So we put on as the elect to uh, to try to make our calling and election sure. All right. So we do the things that the elect would do. All right. Making these video epistles, going out uh, you know on the highways and hedges, teaching the people, you know, leading our families in the correct way, doing doing the things behind the scenes. You know, all that's gonna get a salvation, man. Okay, and chiefly having the faith of Yahweh Bashim Ashai, because with all, with the faith of Yahweh Bashim Ashai is the things that, uh, uh, you know, is is the things that the scriptures say to to do. Okay, because Yahweh Shai is the word. All right, so it says, um, verse six, Isaiah forty-five, verse six, that they may know from the rising of the sun, which is the east, and from the west. That there is none beside me. I am Yahweh Bashim Ashai, and there is none else. Okay, so there is no power but but besides Yahweh Bashim Ashai, man. All right, so so to hell with Allah, to hell with uh, uh, Jehovah. You know, to uh, Yeshua, Yahuwah, Yeshaya, Ahia. You know, I mean, all that, man. To hell with all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because there's only one name. You know, let's go. Let's go to Acts. Acts 4 and verse 12. It says, Neither is there any salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. All right? So there's only one name that, that we're going to be saved by, and that's Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shai. All right? Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? So all them other names and uh, figures and, you know, all this other stuff, is is uh is false man all right so these are the true names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai okay so with the so that those are the powers and there's no other powers beside them man all right uh verse seven it says I form the light and create darkness I I make peace and create evil I Yahweh Shai do all these things all right 
So you how about Shinashad does these things that uh make make the our our power a just power, man, a balanced power. Okay? Creating light and creating darkness, man. That's a just balance. Okay? Life and death is a is a just balance. Okay, so it's always that's why there's no gray area where you how about Shinashad, man, because it's you know what I'm saying? You see, it's it's 50 50. When you have a gray area, you know, then it's you then it's uh you know 40 percent evil, 40 percent good, and then 20 20 percent gray area, man. It's not that, man. All right, it's 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 50 50, a just balance, man. Okay, this is why Yahweh Shah said, uh, when he's coming back, when he, in Revelation uh, uh, 19. And 11, it says, and I saw heaven open and behold a white horse. All right. And that, that, uh, that the, the color white represents purity. Okay. And, the, uh, the, the, that horse represents power, man. Okay. It says, and he, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. See faithful and true. And it says, and in righteousness, do it the judge and make war. He's so you know in, in righteousness he's in righteousness man okay so he's gonna be he's gonna uh make war with these nations that that has been uh uh living uh and and ruling uh, wickedly man okay and it's he's starting with with esau edom okay because he's the righteous part of of this uh of this word i mean of, of this uh i guess you could say i'm not gonna say uh rulership because Yahweh Shah is not in rulership. Esau Edom is a, is a rulership, but he's, but Yahweh Shah is coming to give that just balance back to the earth. Okay? So right now, this, this earth, you know what? Let's go to Job real quick. Let's Job 9 and verse 24. It says, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked, he covered the face of the judge of the rub. If not, where and who is it? Okay, so the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So right now there's an over, uh, there's an over, uh, what, what word I'm looking for? There's an over, uh, there's an unbalanced, I'm going to say uh, there's an unbalance and wickedness, all right? There's an unbalance and wickedness in this place right now, okay? And Yahweh Shai is coming to uh, balance that out, Okay. And so what he's going to do is he's going to come and establish righteousness on earth. And now there's going to be, and, and these nations are still going to be going off, man. Okay. So it's still going to be a certain, uh, a certain level of unrighteousness in the world. That's why Yahweh Shai, you know what? Um, let's go to uh, Revelation chapter two. Revelation chapter two. Let's start at verse 25. It says, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come. All right, so this is why we this is what we're doing, man. Even though we, we understand that there's a uh, there's an abundance of unrighteousness, that, that it's a false balance, all right? We're supposed to hold fast to, until Yahweh Shah comes, okay? So we're that little beacon of light in a, in, a, in a world full of darkness, man. All right, and that, and that light that Yahweh Shah is coming to bring is shining brighter and brighter as he as he gets closer and closer to his coming all right because everything has been has been written and done already in the spirit world okay so everything just has to make this has to uh, manifest here on earth all right revelation 2 and verse 26 it says and he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end to him will i give power over the nations and he shall rule them with a rod and rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall be they be broken to shivers even as I received of my father. All right, so Yahweh Shai is going to give us, you know, hopefully I'm, I'm part of that number and, uh, and the people that's, uh, the brothers and, and a few sisters that's watching are part of that number too. All right, but he's going to give the men uh, a, a rod of iron, a rod of co for, the, for, for correction. Okay, because why? Because the nation is still going to, you know, still trying to uh, eat pork, you know, still trying to build their little, little idols, you know, Little secret, uh, 
you know, um, you know, coalitions that we got to, you know, beat them to shivers, man, with that rod of iron, man. Okay. So this is so this is the uh, you know even though these nations are still gonna try to, you know, uh, you know, do their thing. The small number of them, you know, what I'm saying you're gonna you're gonna have the most of them are gonna be are gonna fall in line, but you're still gonna have those rebels that that the Israelites are gonna have to put that rod of correction to. All right, but the thing is. It's like they want to let that let that go past real quick. The thing is, though, is that the, the righteousness shall be uh, in abundance. All right. So we're we're going to be that the right the, the earth is going to be uh, uh, led in righteousness. All right. But you know what? Let's go to uh, real quick Proverbs uh, twenty nine and verse two. It says, "When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice; but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn." All right. And right now we're in mourning. All right, and that's a that's a false balance, man, because there's there is no righteousness in this land. This is why this the uh the scriptures call this Babylon the Great, man. Okay, the mother of all harlots. Okay, we are America is that whore that rideth upon the beast. All right, so we have to try to do our best to uh negate that by by uh walking in the light, you know, walking in, in righteousness. All right, so let's go back uh, to Isaiah 46, 45, Slakia, and verse 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Hashah, do all these things. You see, so Yahweh Bashim Hashah creates all these things, man. Okay, this is why uh, Yahweh has given the uh, green light to, uh, to Esau, man, through the power of Yahashatan. Okay? To... Uh, to make to make to make the wickedness of of uh in in the evil in the dark side you know abound man so we can so we can appreciate the kingdom that's to come okay so the how be how about you i said i form the light and create darkness i make peace and create evil i yeah how about you i do all these things man all right we're not giving no credit absolutely zero credit to hasha time man okay because we've been taught by Christianity to uh, to say that, well, the devil did all of this, you know, Satan did this and that. Well, I mean, even though that's true, but who gave Hashatan the power to do that, man? All right, let's go to Job. Let's go to Job. Um, let's go to Job uh, 1 and verse 6. It says, Now there was a day when the sons of the Heavenly Father uh, came to present themselves before you, Bashim Hashai, and Satan came along, came also among them. See, so Satan, so, so, so Yahweh Bashim Hashai uh, made a, a, a boss meeting, man. All right, you could say, all right, you know, and uh, all, all the, the, the workers, on the right hand side came all right and satan from the left hand side came also now why is satan reporting to reporting when the god when when god called uh the sons of the heavenly father man which are the angels why did why did why did satan come also why because satan reports to the heavenly father man this is all you know satan doesn't go off doing his own thing man and we're gonna see that when when, when he told when, when, when what happened with joe it says and yahweh bashim said unto satan Whence comest thou? So, so the Lord is saying, "Yo, man, where, where, where you coming from, man? You know now. Now Satan was doing his own thing, and he rebelled and fell from heaven. Now he has a place on the ground. If, if Satan did had all of that, then why would he say this? Why would he? He said this. Then, then Satan answered Yahweh by Shemeshah and said, "Walk uh, from going to and fro in the earth, and walking, and from walking up and down in it." Okay. So you see, so so the Lord asked Job, where, where, where you been at, man? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Satan answered him, man. So if, if if Satan was doing all of this and and uh, and and fell from from a, a heavenly estate, and now he's rebelling against the heavenly Father, why is he answering these questions from him? Okay, because that's that's the Christian doctrine, man. All right, that's that's the Christian dogma. All right, 
you're giving Satan too much, too much credit. Uh, so, and this is this is the and this is the point right here, verse eight. And the Lord said unto Satan, "Has thou considered my servant Job? All right, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that fears the Most High and escheweth evil." All right, you see, so the Most High is asking Satan. You know, have you considered my servant Job? See, he's telling Satan, hey, man, I want you to, I want you to test this man. Okay? See, because before, you know what I'm saying, Satan would just go up, up, up and down, messing with whoever he wanted to mess with, man. You know, through the power of your high and shot. But, to, I mean, in this instance, you know, we, we have the, the, uh, the, the record and the account, right? That the, the Most High told Satan to mess with Job, man. Okay? Because this is what Satan this is what Satan does. Satan reports to Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man. He does nothing without the power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Alright. So see, so this is this is the thing where, you know, the most high is, is the fa the father of all spirits, man. Okay? Even the spirit of Hashatan. You know what? Let's go to uh Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, real quick. Uh Sirach, Ecclesiastes, gets 39. And verse 28, it says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out him, uh, Aslakia, in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. See, so these these spirits are created by Yahweh Bashim Asha. So when it's time for a certain, when it's, when it's time for a certain spirit to uh, to do their thing. All right, when you, when when Yahweh gives the word, these spirits are are ready, man. Okay, and right now, the spirit of uh, Hashatan is is being, uh, you know, uh, given the power by Yahweh by Yahweh Bashim Yashai to uh, you know to uh, to 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 lead and to guide Esau Elam. Okay. It says fire and hell, famine and death. All these things were created for vengeance. See, that's, that's the that's the power and the duality of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man. All right, these are the things that people are really don't understand about our Lord. All right, and Savior Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So we, so these things that that uh, these spirits that are created for vengeance are the are the uh, the power of the, of the left hand side. Okay. And even when you keep when you keep uh, keep going, it says uh, verse thirty: teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. All right, and the sword when you read Psalm seventeen is uh, Esau Edom. Okay, because Esau Edom is uh, is 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 part of that uh, the spirits that are created for vengeance, man, through the through the power of Hashatan. All right, so we so we have a righteous order. Of Yahweh on the right hand side, you have Yahweh, you know, uh, Yahweh Shai, you know, the, uh, you know, the man, the woman, all right, the Israelite man and the Israelite woman, all right. But then you have on the left hand side, you have, you know, you have Yahweh, okay, and then you have uh, Hashatan, man, okay, and this is the left hand side, and Yahweh Shai created Hashatan, man. Because Yahweh created Yahweh Shai and, and Yahweh Shai created everything else. Okay, and he and, and it was understood back then that it, you know you had to have a balance. Okay, duality. Alright. It says uh, uh punishing the wicked to destruction, alright? And this is the this is the the the, uh, the correction that that uh Yahweh Bashim uh uses all right for the Israelites it's by these people man it's by the, the judgments of Yahweh Bashim by what by Esau Edom you know getting shot down in the streets you know by these different diseases that you use by negating the uh you know um the dietary law you know uh high blood pressure diabetes you know all these things come from uh, a bad diet all right because we didn't have none of these things back in the day, man. All right, so it's a lot of things uh, 
you know, the sword is, is these nuclear missiles, you know, by the, by the spirit of the, that the Most High is putting on these, uh, on these scientists and these, uh, you know, all these people that's, that's doing these things, man, uh, creating all these things in the lab and all this. Okay? It's all, it's all the will and the power of Yahweh Bashi Meshach because he's the father of spirits and he's going to have a just balance. All right. Uh, verse 31, they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. When the time has come, they shall not transgress his word. Okay. And Yahweh Shai is part of that, man. Yahweh Shai is waiting on, on, the, on the word of Yahweh. Okay. To come back and, and, and put these nations in, in subjection. All right. But it's not time for that. The scriptures say that it's, uh, that, 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 uh, that Esau's sins have to reach up, uh, reach up unto heaven. Okay, and we're almost there, man. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, it's a beautiful thing to understand the, the righteous judgments of Yahweh Bashim Hashem, man. The, the duality, man. The uh, the evenness, the killness, you know, of Yahweh Bashim Hashem, man. All right. Uh, let's go to uh, Psalm seventy-eight. So Psalm 78 and verse uh, 49, it says, uh, he cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. See, so Yahweh Bashi uh sends evil angels, man. Okay. You know, but we we we've learned that all the angels are, are little babies with with little baby wings and you know and little diapers and all this other stuff. In actuality, no. You know, these are evil angels that the Yahweh Bashim Shah has set up, man. Okay, this is the power of Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. All right, let's go to uh, Deuteronomy thirty-two. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39, it says, uh, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with, no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay? So it's, it's in the will and power of Yahweh Bashi uh, to kill and to make alive, man. To wound and to heal. Alright, this is why there's a time and place for everything. All right, so now we understand the the, uh, the duality of Yahweh Bashi Mashah because we you know sometimes we see uh, you know uh, you know a baby getting shot in the street, you know, and um, we we wonder why, you know what I'm saying? But, but it's all in the will of Yahweh Bashi Mashah, man. You know, let's go to. Uh, Uh, Job uh, Where's that? It's like you uh, Let's see Yeah, kind of. Slack you. Uh, hold on, Slack you. What's wrong, man? I told you I'm doing a lesson, right? And did I tell you not to not to come bother me? So go ahead. Slack you. Uh, this is Job uh, chapter 4 and verse 7. 
It says, remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Okay? It says, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. All right? So when we see a... Uh, so we see a, a little seven-year-old getting shot down in the street, man. That's that's in the will of Yahweh Bashim man. All right, it was at it, it was that time for uh, that that uh, that child to to uh, to leave this earth, man. Okay, because you never know what that child did in his, in his previous life. Okay, this is why you know um, we go to uh, Revelation. Uh, chapter 20 and verse 12 it says and I saw the dead uh, small and great stand before the heavenly father and the books were open and another book was open which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to the works and the sea gave up the dead which were in it and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them and they were judged every man according to their works. Okay? So this is just an example of what happens in the spirit world, man. The, the things in the past life, uh, you, the things that you get done in the past life, once you die you, and you go to the spirit world, your spirit gets judged. Okay? And then you live out, you, you get sentenced uh, the next time you come. Or, or regenerated uh, when, you come back to, when, you, when you come back to earth. Okay? So you never know that 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 that, that so-called innocent seven-year-old baby that got shot in the head by a, a stray bullet could have been, uh, you know, uh, a, a, a rapist or something like that back in, in uh, you know, in his previous life. Okay. So we don't know the judgments of Yahweh Bashi Mashiach, man. All we know is the see, and this is and this is the problem, all right, because we've been taught. A lot of things that's really uh, taking our has taken our mind off of the power of you. How about you, Shai, man? Let's go to Second uh, Ezra chapter four and verse uh, two. Uh, I'm sorry, verse one and Second uh, Ezra four and verse one. And the angel that was sent unto me, whose name was Uriel, gave me an answer and, and said. Thy heart hath gone too far in this world to thinkest thou to comprehend the way of the Most High. You see, so our hearts, our minds have, have, have been too far gone to understand the ways of the Most High, man. All right, we, we've been uh, separated from our power for over 500 years, man. Okay? And now we don't, now, and this is why we can't understand the duality of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man. All right, this is why we give Hashatan too much credit. So we've been gone too far in, in this world, man, in, the, in, in, in Esau's philosophy, man. Even when we come out of the truth, man, we still have, you know, I mean, not in, uh, come out of the truth, but come out of the world. You know, we still we still have things that we still need to work on, man. All right? And we're not going to be perfect until Yahweh Bashim Shah comes back, man. Or delivers us. You know, when Yahweh Shah comes back. All right, so, um, oh, yeah, so, yeah, so, so, yeah, how about Shemesh sends evil angels, man? All right, well, it's not, it's not the, the, uh, you know, uh, when, some, when, when gang members shoot out, shoot each other and all this other stuff, that's not just them. That's, that's your how about Shemesh man, appeasing his own wrath, man. Okay. And let's uh, start wrapping this up. Um, Amos chapter 3 and verse 6. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and Yahweh Bashi Mashiach have not done it? Okay. So it's all in the will of Yahweh Bashi Mashiach, man. Okay, all these things that you see, the good and the, and the bad, man, you know, is, is in the will of Yahweh Bashi Mashiach, man. Okay? 
So when you have a, a you know, a, a baby, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the blessings of your how about you shot. All right. But when you, but when you see a, a you know a ten year old kid that's that's walking down the street, you know, and he gets hit with a stray bullet or he you know at a shootout, you know what I'm saying? That's that hey, that's that's the the other the other part of your how about you shot, man. That we have to that that's that fear that he instills in us, man. As if he was doing all good all the time, man. We, what we wouldn't even fear you, how about you, my shot, man? These things, these these things, the evil part is here for us to fear the judgments of you, how about you, my shot. We reckon, we recognize the mercies and the love that you, how about you, my shot, has for us, man. You know him waking us up every day, allowing us to uh, understand this, this this truth. You know, understand the uh, the prophecies. We we you know what I'm saying all of that. You know. But, but then when it comes down to, you know, uh, the evil part of your Habashi Mashai, nobody wants to swallow that, that part of the road, man. All right? Nobody wants that, that part of your Habashi Mashai. Okay? So we got to swallow, like, like Ezekiel said, we, we got to swallow the whole road and understand the duality of your Habashi Mashai. Okay? And that, that's why it's gonna say those that that uh, worship him must must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay, so this is the truth of the doctrine, man. The, the truth of the scriptures, the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. You know what? Let's get one more to uh, to exit out on, right? Let's go to Exodus uh, chapter fifteen. And verse three, it says, Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name, man. All right? So put some respect on Yahweh Bashi Mashiach's name, man. All right? And give him, what it, give him credit what the credit is due, man. He has the power to do all, everything, man. If he, wants to, if, if he wants lightning to strike you on, on, on the sky, with, in the sky with no clouds, that, hey, that's, that's the will of Yahweh Bashi Mashiach, man. That's the evil angel being sent to, to, uh, to, uh, to judge you, man. All right. All right. That's that's uh, it's lucky. That's the that's the power that Yahweh Bashim Hashem has, man. All right. So when we do that, when we worship in the spirit and in truth, and understand the, the totality of Yahweh Bashim Hashem, things things will start uh, you know going better, man. All right. See, you see, you got folly, man. You see, you got Jake. They ain't got no no sense of anything, man. All right, but with that, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachah Hakodash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. I want to say Kwame Sharala, Ababa Ball, Shalom.